corporation that plays together stays together. People have uh, perhaps stretched it by likening the, the symphony to the Industrial Revolution model, where it's kind of a factory and there's a foreman or a boss who's telling you what to do. And, and no matter how talented you may be and how gifted at your craft, uh, there's always someone who's going to tell you you're doing it wrong and you better do it right. Stop! Why don't you blow? I am blowing. Why blow harder? I may be the hardest blowing bassoonist in the world. Then kindly do some of your blowing into your bassoon. <laughs> Chamber music is entirely different. There's no boss, there's no leader. I think chamber music is a unique kind of dialogue. They're trying to, in a sense, do what they know they can't do, which is to play something perfectly. And at the same time, they're aware of communicating excitement, depth, insight, passion to an audience. The interesting element about chamber music is how to make the other guy sound their best. The quartet serves the music, but every member serves the others. And that is the definition of a team. And that is what business or what have you struggling with today. The task is the master. Uh, no team leader, and every team member serves the others. And that is, I think, the best lesson. I think the relationship between the players is, is really what determines a good team and a great team. You've got to know each other. You've got to have uh, a sense for what you're going to do on the floor, what you're going to do, uh, and how to react to each other's sudden movements. <laughs> You're definitely part of a team. You have to know when to lead and when to follow. You have to know your role, you have to know the score, and you have to be able to allow people to play. Let them play, you play. You can have five guys who are very talented on the floor, but you may not win a lot of games if you don't play well together. When you get to the stage, a lot of times what you've rehearsed is uh, not necessarily what's gonna come out. Hopefully it'll be more inspired by the moment, by the audience and the adrenaline that's flowing. There are certain times when you just happen to be on the floor and you get into another zone and you, you all are in the right sync, you're helping each other, you're working together. And there's not too much of a better feeling like it.